Hello, welcome back again. This is your agronomist, uh, Fred, and we are still on butternut farming, one of the best, one of the favorite crop for beginners. If you want to begin, you are planning to do farming, just start with butternut. Uh, the reason to why I encourage beginners to do butternut is because of few reasons. Among them, the shelf life after harvesting the butternut, uh, the managerial skills of butternut, and also the investment capital when it comes to butternut farming. Uh, at this stage, as you can see, the stage you are seeing, we've already gotten fruit. This is what we have. Big uh, fruit that can be marketed because these are among the size uh, most of the buyers are in need of. The variety that I did here is uh, a, 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 a small size or a medium size kind of producing uh, variety. So I would like to take you through uh, what I've done and what I'm expecting to do uh, so that you can learn and also be able to learn to, to manage your butternut swiftly. Uh, remember in our last video we talked about the flower setting, how to, uh, to take care of the flower uh, and how to make sure your plant is as clean and it's free from pest and diseases. If you have not watched the video, you can go back, check, so that we can be at the same place or at par with today's uh, learning. So at this stage, we already are at fruit development stage already the fruit is set it's very visible behind me we have over 90 percent uh, fruit production and that was our target now we are managing the the, the the fruit and few things need to be done in order to manage the fruit one that we need to continue with our our nutrition schedule and uh, the nutrition schedule in our case, we are going for the, remember we did a boron-based uh, fertilizer before, when uh, we were, uh, when it was uh, setting the flowers and uh, fruit setting, we did a boron and a zinc uh, rich fertilizers. This was uh, to enable the, f the, the, the plant set fruits, also to enable the, 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 the plant uh, set flower, sorry, and also to set fruits. Uh, the product that we use at, as per that time, we used here an nitrable because it's rich in boron. It's also rich in uh, zinc and has a trace element. And it is also rich in calcium. We are coming with the same, same uh, product at this level because also we also want to continue with calcium. The reason why I'm coming with calcium because one, I want to see this fruit, this fruit developing to a bigger fruit. Uh, and remember, other than fruit develop, the development and fruit becoming big, we also want to see a beautiful fruit. So what we need to do to make sure the fruit is big or it is of uh, required uh, size, it's beautiful and also uh, in the inside, uh, it is full, it's not hollow. We need to do a lot of calcium fertilizer. And like I told you, an example of calcium fertilizer that I'm using here is Yara Miller Nitrable. But because the fruit have already set, and like I told you, we need beauty inside here, we are going to combine the uh, two fertilizers, which is Yara Nitrable and Yara Winner. These are among the best fertilizers that I'm currently using. Uh, the reason uh, to why I'm using those, this fertilizer is one. Uh, the fertilizers are very soluble in water. Once you apply them, their solubility is very high. That means the more the soluble the fertilizer, the good the absorption uh, of, of the fertilizer to the crop. And don't forget that uh, the crop as it is at the moment, it has a very good root network. So what you need to do is give it something that it, that, that it can consume at, at a very high speed because the fruits need a lot of nutrient uh, also we also need to to keep our our leaves healthy we want to keep the stem healthy so you need something that will have a, a very high speed in terms of absorption and in terms of uh, 
reaction or releasing the nutrient to the plant. At this point, uh, if you do a slow release fertilizer, fertilizer that are slow release, you may end up harvesting the crop and leaving your fertilizer unutilized or uh, unused uh, in the soil, which is not economic on our side. We want to use something that once it's in the soil, it's completely used and it will benefit us. So that is the solution for now. And still, we from nutrition, uh, we go to pests and diseases. We are still fighting uh, some pests and some diseases. Any disease that may affect the leaves, we are fighting it. Any pest that may affect the fruit, we are still fighting it. Remember uh, the classes that we underwent in watermelon farming about fighting uh, 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 melon flies. That is the same same pest that also stings or that attacks the, the butternut. So you have to be very well keen. Whatever lessons you learned in watermelon farming, you have to be very well cautious so that you are going to apply it here. In our case, we we have strategic traps or we put traps in strategic position around the farm that traps uh, the melon fly. We are also using chemicals in order to make sure uh, we control the melon fly. Among the best chemicals that I use in controlling the, the melon fly is a profile. Profile is one of the best product. It's, uh, uh, it chases away the, 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 the melon fly and it's among the best. And you don't need to, eat, to use it for a long time. Like at this stage, I don't need to use any more chemical because the melon fly cannot affect this fruit at this stage. But as you can see, there is a fruit that I was not in need of though it was developing, if your fruit is as small as this one that, that is coming out here, uh, the fruit that are coming out, you need to do a, a melon fly control in order to make sure you are, your fruit are safe and you are going to go. Also, small fruit, small fruit like this one, we have a very small fruit here, like the one is a uh, small fruit, you need to be protected against uh, melon flies in order to make sure you get a good uh, fruit that is not destroyed that is not uh, uh, it's, it's, it's not disturbed by the melon fly because when once uh, the melon fly stings the fruit it lowers the quality of the fruit and nobody wants to buy something that has dents or something that uh, is not good so from a uh, pest and the diseases uh, control we go now to a very important point which is watering uh, this has been a question that i address each and every uh, video that i take watering how often do you water this fruit at this stage which is a uh, uh, fruiting stage you need to increase the watering for butternut they don't need a lot of water as comparing them with uh, with with the, with watermelon that i why i told you it's a very economical plant so you need to do a, a, a weekly, you can do twice per week, you can do once per week, you can also do, depending by what you're using, if you're using drip line even, you can do 20 minutes per day. So it will depend by what you're doing, but make sure you have enough water and you're giving it enough water. As you can see, it's very green and the crop is very healthy. It's all because of the few managerial practices uh, that you've done your pest disease control at good watering plus the nutrition which we are currently undertaking and that is what has made us made us reach uh, uh, up to this point farmers please note i've seen so many farmers uh, looking for superior varieties many farmers usually ask me which variety are you doing i share with them the variety but even if you take one of the best varieties, you fail to give a good nutrition, you fail to, to protect the pest and the diseases, you fail to give enough water, you'll be doing nothing. So take a good variety, choose the variety wisely depending by what you are, you are looking for, either big fruit, either medium fruit, either elongated fruit, depending by what your market is in need of. Like in my case, my market is in need of a, a, a medium a, a fruit. Then involve uh involve uh best agro uh, expert or you can learn them yourself for nutritional plan you don't need to struggle a lot 
Yara Kenya is providing or Yara company is providing you with the best nutrient for your crop that you can follow easily and be guided easily and succeed. Get the skills, get an expert and I'm assuring you, you'll succeed and be among the best farmers. Until next time, make sure you stay in this channel. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Follow me at other social, my other social media uh, account at Farm with Fred so that we can continue learning together. We can, I can continue sharing my experience with you and also I can get to know you uh, what you need from me and get to get your questions because each and every day I'm also learning from you. I'm improving my content and everything that I'm sharing uh, uh, with you courtesy of what I receive via inbox also via comment box. Don't forget to like, also to share the video and leave a comment. Bye.